Okay, so here's the deal. Sonic fans, you all have to go see this movie. You have to. Don't let me down. They did us a big, big favor with the first movie. Actually listening to us and going and fixing the design for Sonic. Okay? We cannot let them down. We have to go and show up to this movie. Do it. It's good. I promise. Just go see it. Do it. And if you're not a Sonic fan, do it anyway. I want a third one. Do it. It's not going to hurt you. Go. What are you waiting for? Go. This. You dumb. That's not a hunt. It just scared the piss out of me again. Again? You're never going to get my power. Do I look like I need your power? Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is directed by Jeff Fowler and stars Ben Swartz, Idris Elba, Colleen O'Shanzi, and Jim Carrey. And is about a little adorable blue hedgehog and his little furry friends as they go and collect gems that are really powerful from a fat man who's not so fat for some reason. As I already said, I really like this movie. I am completely biased, as you can probably tell, from the hat and from the little quills that I'll probably have in the thumbnail that I've not yet made. Still deciding on that. Um, but it is adorable. And that is the biggest compliment that I can um, give to this movie. Because in many ways, it feels like the first. Um, it is more just adorable than anything. It, unfortunately, it's not, like, particularly funny, and it doesn't tell a overly original story. However, I really do believe, from the bottom of my heart, that just about every Sonic fan is going to be very, very happy with this film. But, however, that being said, I do want to start with the negatives of this movie, because there, I don't really feel like there are too many. Like I already said, it is not, like overtly funny there were a lot of jokes however not really any of them landed i will say that i do think that knuckles is probably the funniest character in this movie his ability to just be a complete imbecile and seem like so tough at the same time really comes off very like comedic uh, comedic and cute there's also a slight pacing issue it's not like super noticeable but like it's definitely the case that the first half of the movie is definitely like kind of slower and that's because most of it is like set up to really ground the characters but it like noticeably picks up in the second half of the movie there's also this issue where it's like really super obvious that there was a lot of green screen involved, maybe even blue screen, if they're really fancy. But it was very obvious that the characters weren't actually in the places that they were supposed to be at, especially with Eggman. Eggman, for most of his scenes, I would say, actually did not seem like he was actually there. And the fact that I almost noticed just about every time just shows you that, like, this movie is not going to age very well, probably. Um, and it's, like, super unfortunate, because it seems like they have the budget. So I don't know why that was, like, not addressed. But honestly, that's about it for the bad stuff, the negatives. Um, the good stuff, and there is a bunch of it. Like, this is the best... Even better than the first one, probably, adaptation of Sonic, probably ever. Like, I loved everything that they did with Sonic and Sonic characters in this movie. They even had a little bit of a nod to another character, um, 
which I thought was delightful, but it's kind of like blink and you miss it. So just look out for it. That's all I'm going to say. All the other characters, though, all of the other characters are great. I really liked Knuckles, and Tails even brought a tear to my eye at one point. I loved seeing them in this movie. And I'm not, I've never really been that huge of a fan of either one of them. However, there was just something about seeing them on the big screen being adapted so well that it made me like feel really giddy inside. Like I was a child again, experiencing like the Sonic games for the first time. I absolutely loved everything about this movie. It is so adorable, so great start to finish oh my god be sure to stay like halfway through the credits because there is one post scene that you're not going to want to miss i also did say earlier a little nod to it that the story wasn't super original and that is because like if you've ever played the sonic games before you probably know exactly what's coming and all i'm going to say is at no point in this film does it disappoint even a little bit I loved everything about it. The only thing I didn't really enjoy as much was the first the first like half of the movie because of a lot of the setup, especially the human stuff. However, I never really felt like the human stuff was like necessarily bad either. Um, I do like their addition to the film. However, they don't really focus too much. In my opinion, they don't feel... Like, they focus too much on the human aspect. They do give them some time to shine. Um, but I don't think it was, like, overbearing as much. Because the payoff in the end is just so great. It's so good. Oh my god. If you're a Sonic fan, go see the movie. I know I said at the beginning, just go see the movie. Please go see the movie. Please. Uh, I, honestly, to avoid spoilers, I think I'm just going to end the review there, too. Just go see the movie. Please, please do it. For me. Thank you. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing as it really helps me out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you later. Goodbye.